At the top of the dishwasher, you'll find all of the control switches. You have the power switch, which controls the power for the dishwasher. You have the drain fill switch, and you have the start cycle switch. On the left-hand side of the machine, you will find the temperature display for the wash, which will always be displayed, and for the final rinse, which will only come on during the rinse cycle. Located at the bottom right-hand corner of the dishwasher in the front is the pressure gauge, which will only be displayed when the dishwasher is running in the rinse cycle. Please remember, the pressure should be between 20 and 22 PSI. Located in the center of the front control panel is the screen for the scrap tank located at the front of the machine. The scrap tank is designed to have any debris floating in the tank into the scrap tray so you can remove it and you should check the screens daily. Located at the rear of the scrap tank at the bottom of the dishwasher directly underneath and behind the screen you will find another screen located at the very back of the tank. This screen is to ensure that no debris gets drawn into the drain system. This screen also needs to be removed and cleaned on a daily basis. To reinstall, repeat the same process and make sure the screen is seated properly in place. Inside the control tray, again, you have the main conduit connection for your power source. You have your cam timer for all of the operations of the machine. The start, rinse, wash, detergent, and the safety temp cam. Safety temp is a feature that will prevent the dishwasher from going into the final rinse until the booster heater thermostat has been satisfied and the temperature for the booster heater will be 180 to 195 degrees. You also have the booster heater contactor and the main wash pump contactor as well as the machine's ground connections. In the center of the dishwasher control drawer you will find the main power terminal. If the unit does not have the chemical dispensers installed, we supply two connection points for your detergent and your rinse signals. Again, blue is for the rinse aid, red is for the detergent. Located inside the wash tank, you will find both the wash arms and the rinse arms. The rinse arms are the smaller tubes of the two arms, as well as the wash arms are the larger. There are two arms for the wash, one located at the bottom and one at the top, as well as the final rinse, located at the bottom and the top of the machine. To remove the arms, there is a neural fitting at the center of the hub. Simply unscrew the hub and remove the arms, both for the top and for the bottom. They are both interchangeable, so it doesn't matter which one you put back, and they'll only fit in the proper positions. You'll also find a scrap tray inside the bottom of the wash tank, which will prevent debris from going into the wash pump and the wash system assembly. The screen should be cleaned after every service and at the end of every day. I have removed one of the final rinse arms. You have the center connection point, and then you have your rinse jets, as well as the end plugs. To clean this arm, you want to remove the end plug on both ends and you want to clean it out with using water at your sprayer or a brush if you have one. You can also clean these by soaking them in descaler which you can be purchased from your chemical supplier. Please remember if you're going to be cleaning the rinse jets or the wash jets in either one of the arms do not use any metal objects. Only use plastic or even a wooden toothpick to clean out the holes. Reassemble the arms. Remember to tighten 
the end caps because you don't want them to fall off during operation. If they fall off during operation, you'll get water splashing out the front door and that will be a sign that you would need to check the arms. Reinstall the arms by simply putting it into place and using the knurl nut to tighten it down. Now that the Model 180UC has been installed and is fully connected to both water and power, it is time to go over the final insulation checklist. Check to make sure the dish machine is level after it was set in place. Check all electrical connections to ensure they are tight and secure. Check all water, drain, plumbing connections for leaks and tighten if necessary. Check all wash arms to make sure they are installed correctly. Check final rinse arms to make sure they have also been installed and tightened correctly. Check the wash tank temperature should be 150 to 160 degrees. 155 degrees is recommended. Check the final rinse temperature should be set between 180 and 195 degrees. Check final rinse pressure. 20 PSI is recommended plus or minus 5 PSI. Please also remember to read all labels and follow all installation procedures. Please remember to view this section before beginning the installation of the CMA Model 180UC under counter dishwasher. All installation procedures and guidelines should be followed during installation.